What is up? Today I'm going to take you on a tour of a surgery center. So this is actually where we will do surgery. Um, I'll show you kind of all the facets of it. I think it's kind of interesting. So if you're a patient or if you're wondering what we do. So uh, we're on the second floor and let's go take a look at things. All right. So this is the check-in desk. This is kind of where, you know, the patients will come and then their family will typically sit out in this area in this big waiting room. Um, and they'll wait and then we will come talk to them after their surgery so uh, let's go back and take a look at things so all this is badge access there we go so this is one of the um, consult rooms so oftentimes what we'll do is bring patients into one of these consult rooms uh, or their families rather and then kind of just tell them you know how the surgery went let them know that everything went good uh, and that kind of thing so Let's go take a look at some more stuff. So that's as far as the families will come back. But if we head on back here, so this is kind of the area where it's not, um, you don't have to have like strict scrubs on and all, but this is where some of the nurses will sit. And then these are the PACU beds where the uh, patients will come and that's, this is where they're in recovery. So they'll come here, the nurses will kind of, you know, help them recover and we'll come check on them oftentimes after the surgery here. Uh, so let's go on back into where we actually do the surgeries. So for this part, we have to have a mask and uh, scrubs and a hat on, a scrub hat. So it's all like proper scrub attire back here. So this is kind of what our ORs will typically look like, or rather before we operate, we will scrub at a sink like this. So um, oftentimes the first scrub of the day will be one of these sponges and a five minute scrub and then what we can do after that is for the subsequent cases is use the surgical hand antiseptic the sterilium rub so that's typically uh, the way that we sterilize our hands and so once we scrub our hands you know we'll come into the OR we don't touch anything um, we'll get gloved and gowned over there by the uh, one of the scrub techs we will often pull up the patient's picture on that TV uh, with oculoplastic surgery so that we can see what they look like um, and kind of have it to reference uh, during the surgery at least you know see what they look like sitting up and kind of their baseline so it helps us guide some of the things that we do during surgery oftentimes we'll have our like local anesthetic over here that we'll pull up uh, and then we'll grab our sutures from the suture cart which is not in this room but I'll show it to you in a second um, we'll have our marking pins in here to mark patients for blepharoplasties and things we have all kinds of stuff that we can need. We have all our gloves up here. Um, I'm a size seven, and so I get these. Uh, so this is kind of the setup. Anesthesia, of course, will sit over here um, and turn knobs and push buttons and whatever it is that they do, which is magical, and I don't understand most of it, but that's what they do, and it works out nicely. Uh, they keep our patients nice and happy and calm and sedated for surgery, so that's good. Um, so that's one of our operating rooms so if we come into this this or over here um, you can see they write all our names and our glove sizes and these are a lot of our sutures that we'll typically use so our masks are up here and we'll typically i'll go with the one with the uh with the little sticky thing on it so that my loops don't fog during surgery um, but that's the one i like to use so that's kind of the whole setup and the flow of things now these surgery centers will differ, you know, on kind of how they all run and stuff, but uh, that's kind of the meat of it all, you know. So this is where we'll actually sit and do our computer work and like discharge patients and write their HMPs and all at these computers. And then this area is the pre-op area where the patients will come initially and get worked up by the nurses and then anesthesia will see them and we'll come consent them over here and uh, you know, make sure that they are ready to go for surgery, more or less. Uh, and then they roll back to the operating room. So that's kind of the way that surgery works. And the flow of it, of course, is they show up, uh, they get into pre-op, um, and they get taken back to surgery. They go to the recovery area. We talk to their family, and then, uh, you know, they leave, basically. And we do, do it multiple times a day, multiple days a week. And then that's how you make a living. Yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys liked it, uh, touring the surgery center, one of the surgery centers. So if you dig it, uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, 
all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.